Hi everyone and welcome to another video in my main stage series. Today I'm going to show you how to control the functions within main stage that are normally controlled via a MIDI controller such as um, uh, FCB 10, 1010, a, a control surface, keyboard, whatever, any other kind of MIDI external device. So instead of relying on any of those devices, we're just going to use the built-in MacBook typing keyboard to do that. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can do it, but I'm going to show you the easy and cheapest way, and cheapest meaning free, um, way to do this. So let me just walk you through the different steps. First thing is I'm going to use a project that I've already used in previous examples. So what I want to do is go in and I want to map the previous next and the play button here within main stage. So this will navigate me through the different markers within this project. And I'm going to map the previous to the MacBook's um, less than sign and the next to the greater than, simply because they simply look like these transport buttons for uh, going backwards and, and forwards. And then I'll map the P letter, uh, the P key on the on the MacBook, to the play pause. You can do anything you like, it's no problem, but this is what we're going to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is um, a piece of freeware software. It's called MIDI Keys. It's this software right here. And what it will allow you to do, essentially, is use your MacBook typing keyboard to generate um, different MIDI signals. And you can see how they're mapped to different keys here. So again, you want to download this, it's called MIDI Keys. So simply Google MIDI Keys and uh, you know, that's what I did right here. And you'll get to this website and it's right here. So go to this URL and download MIDI Keys. Again, it's free. So after that's installed, what you want to do is open it up, open up your main stage project. And to do the mapping, as you know, we're going to go into layout mode. So let's go into layout mode. And I'm going to select this first button right here. And just as normal, uh, we're going to click the learn key. So let me go into learn mode. And then I'm going to bring up MIDI keys. And you can just use MIDI keys in its default uh, setup. If you look at the destination here, it says virtual source. That's completely fine. But if you want, you can choose different. I've got a couple of IAC drivers set up in here. Um, and you can just choose whatever destination you want. But virtual source is just fine. You can also, if you want to uh, specify a unique channel to a unique MIDI channel to your MIDI keys control, you can do that. Just choose any of the normal 1 to 16 MIDI channels right here. I'm just going to use the default channel one just for the time being. Okay, so I have MIDI keys. I've got uh, main stage and learn mode, and I want to learn that previous key, uh, previous marker button. So I'm going to press the less than sign and just take a look at the hardware input to see what it's learned. And as you can see, it learned that C4 and it looked at uh, or it picked up device MIDI keys. Now these are actually the common period keys, but you know I just I just look at the greater than and 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 less than um, just to map it in my mind. I'm going to do the same thing for the next. I'll keep it in learn mode, and again I'll go to MIDI keys. By the way, you need to have MIDI keys in the foreground in order to do the operation with it. And then the next one I'm going to go to is I'm going to map the play pause still in learn mode and bring MIDI keys back up and I'm pressing the P key, okay? So at this point, within main stage, I've done all the mapping and um, everything should in fact work. So let me now just bring up MIDI keys and I'm gonna press the P key on my Mac keyboard. So I'm just toggling play pause here. Than. 
I go to the previous marker. Going to the next. So I'm just cycling through markers and you can see how the previous and next and the play pause button show up as you can do that. So that's it. It's very, very straightforward. Um, uh, MIDI keys is a great little program that you can use in order to just uh, just do this. It's very handy. All right. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, talk again soon.